guys, this is part three, the final part of our three-part series for coronavirus books um, written by Mrs. D. Um, our first book was all about the coronavirus, just essentially explaining what it is, how it spreads, stuff like that. Second one was about social distancing and why we're practicing social distancing. And our last one deals with how we're learning right now. Um, so our last book is called All About E-Learning. E-Learning. And again, it was written by Mrs. D's Corner. COVID-19 or coronavirus is a virus that can make people sick. So our virus can make people sick. Large groups of people or students could spread the virus without knowing. So people could spread it without even knowing that they're spreading it. Some schools have closed to stop the spread of the virus among staff and students. So that's why we're closed, because we don't want to spread it between each other. People are asked to stay at home. Only go out in public if you need something important. So that's things like groceries. Maybe you need to go to the doctors for some reason. Um, I know with doctors, they're even saying only emergencies. So a lot of people are making sure that they stay home unless it's a really, 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 really big emergency. To keep students and their families safe, many schools have turned to e-learning. So many schools have turned to e-learning is what it's called. E-learning. E-learning is learning that is delivered electronically or online rather than in person. So it's kind of like what we're doing on our YouTube channel. You're learning online. Teachers use any technology that helps their students learn and gain access to resources. So you can use your computer, your iPad, or your phone for e-learning. Any of those electronic devices. If you do not have access to the internet or technology, let your teacher know. They will be able to help. So Ms. Frick has done that with your parents already to tell us if they have access to the internet or technology that could help you do it online. And if not, that's okay. We'll figure out a way for you to learn another way. You can learn using educational websites, videos, mobile, and educational apps. So there's different things that you can use to learn at home. Your teacher will be available to help you at any time while learning from home. So Ms. Frick is available for certain times while you guys are learning at home. And Ms. Frick even calls for check-ins. Some e-learning could be a review of skills or topics you have already learned this school year. So sometimes it could be a review of stuff you may already know or have seen before. Some e-learning could be new skills and topics. So maybe it could be something new that you've never learned before. So new. You can still work with friends or in groups while learning online. So even though we're not together in class, you could still work with people online, which is pretty cool. E-learning can be fun while staying safe and healthy. So we have our smiley face because we're safe, safe and healthy. Okay, again, we're gonna do our comprehension questions, okay? To make sure we remember all that we learned in our videos, okay? So that's the end of our story. We're gonna answer some comprehension questions. So what is this story about? Is it about e-learning or social distancing? Which one? Very good, it is about e-learning. E-learning, oh, Miss recovered it. E-learning, very nice, so that is what our story is about. Can you learn outside of the classroom? Yes or no? Yes or no, can you learn outside of the classroom? Very good, yes, you can learn outside of the classroom. Yes, you can learn outside of the classroom. 
blank can be used to help students learn. So can te technology help you learn or can rocks help you learn? Very nice. Technology can help you learn. Very nice. Last one, is your school using e-learning? So is our school using e-learning? Yes or no? Miss Frick kind of puts that in the middle. Because <laughs> you may be doing stuff online and you may not be doing stuff online. We might be a mixture of both. So I'm going to let you pick your answer. Either answer works. Is your school using e-learning? I'm going to say yes because we've done stuff on Class Dojo that I consider e-learning. So I'm going to say yes because we've done stuff that has been e-learning, but you may say no, which is okay. It could be no too, but again, you pick the answer that works for you. So that is the end of our story and that is the end of our series. Um, I hope that this series gave you a little bit of information about what's going on right now and how we're going to deal with it and what it's going to look like. You guys are doing awesome. I am so proud of you for how you're sticking around and you're doing your schoolwork and you're dealing with all these things. I am so, so, so proud of you. And I can't wait till we can get back together again and be in class and see each other and do all of the fun stuff that we've always did. So again, this is Miss Frick. I hope you enjoyed the series and I will talk to you guys later and I will see you guys, I hope, very, very soon. And I look forward to when we can be back together. All right, bye.